Almost 50 British personnel were injured in Afghanistan during the month of January, according to the latest government figures. That's almost half the number of troops wounded in the whole of 2006. The main field hospital at Camp Bastion has almost doubled the number of beds on its wards to cope with Operation Mosterak. So far, three British soldiers have been killed while taking part in the offensive. Kaya Lark reports from Camp Bastion. The new Surgeon General tours the wards of the field hospital at Camp Bastion. This is the first time he's visited Afghanistan since he took up the post in December. And this is probably the busiest the wards have been for some months. The medics here are working almost to capacity at times to ensure that anyone injured on the front line receives the best possible chance of survival. During Operation Mosterak, the number of beds available for patients has been increased to 80. That's almost double the normal figure. I mean, they are busy at all times, but you're absolutely right. During Operation Mosterak, with the phase that we're going just now, the particular um, kinetic activity, I have to say the operation's gone extremely well, so the casualty flow that's coming through is busy, it comes in peaks and surges, but it's been coped with tremendously well by the staff. Well, they were just shy of 550 staff making up the medical group based here in Afghanistan. Most of those are British personnel, but including an increasing contingent of American medics too. The Surgeon General has been meeting as many of them as possible during his time in theatre, both here in the hospital and out at the forward operating bases. And one of the things he was most interested in was finding out just how the US and the British are working together. Well, we mainly conversed about the transition of working with Americans and Britons and how we transitioned to do that. Uh, And I explained to him that we partnership together and that we were kind of mirrored together with the patients so we can understand the paperwork, the language, and the difference in nursing from American and British. And the transition was kind of smooth, actually. The hospital can't disclose just how many patients are being treated on its wards at the moment, but the medics here look after not only the injured personnel, but also any civilians who are caught in the crossfire, and sometimes insurgents too. And that can be difficult for all concerned, especially reservists who currently make up almost a sixth of the staff. Yeah, it's definitely been picked up. Um, the tempo's picked up quite a bit. Um, and um, we have seen kind of multiple, multiple casualties coming in. Um, and um, quite a few civilians as well. And they are without question saving people that would previously have died. We have a system of measuring trauma, the, the, the scale of damage someone may receive. And using that metric, we can see you know, just how well we're doing in terms of outcome. And we use quite a, a strange language. We talk about unexpected survivors. But that means these are guys whose injuries should have killed them. And they are surviving, surviving and doing well. All patrols now have soldiers who are medically trained and from their work through the casualty evacuation and the hospital treatment means staff are hoping that the number of lives saved is only increased. Kyle Ark, Forces News, Camp Bastion.